Oh, hey y'all. How's it going, Fatty here? We're going to do something a little different today, taking a break from art and going to do some tutorials again, but we're going to go on to Power World. Now, if you guys are like me, you guys have been totally obsessed with this game. It has been so much fun and really enjoyable. But if you're playing on a dedicated server like I am, every morning when you wake up or every time you like re-log into the game, your pets are just starving, they're injured or damaged. As you can see right now in my base, uh, this first base I'm going to show you, everything is happy and it's going really well. And then I have my metal or other resource farming base kind of in the lava area. And you're going to see it is going to be the total opposite. Everything is going to be depressed. They're not starved right now because I just recently got them food, but they're all injured, depressed, and everything like that. And it's just not a good, it's not good. You don't want to deal with that. So I'm going to give you guys five different tips that you can do just to kind of keep that from happening all the time. So the first thing we're going to talk about is it's going to be your farm setup. Now, the number one thing that I want to kind of just preface with this video is the best thing you can do is just prevent them from getting hurt in the first place. So you don't have to deal with that. And there's a lot of little things that you can do. Um, so what you want to do is get yourself a farm. Now, the most important things that you can farm are lettuce, tomatoes, and wheat. You always want to have berries because berries are just a really good thing to have around. But primarily wheat, lettuce, and tomatoes because there's a couple things that you're really going to want to be able to make. Now, when you're setting it up, I like to make sure my farm is on foundations. I find that to be really helpful. I don't like to put it up above, like, where they have to use the stairs if they don't have to because that just creates little issues where they could get stuck but if you do have to do it make sure there are several ramps i also find that they tend to use these two over here a little bit more because it's a wider set but then what you want to do is keep everything together so they're just not having to go as far i've noticed sometimes if they're having to travel across base they'll get distracted by doing some other kind of task so if you keep all your farm guys together they tend to just kind of stay huddled up together then the other thing you want to do for your farm setup is make sure you have food that is ready to go. See, they ran out of the food I've been putting in here, and then they start to store wheat, and you really don't want to start to see that or store some other things. So what you're wanting to do is put your feeding trough really close so they're not traveling very far to get to the things that they're going to need to get to, but then only have slots avail available for two things. So right now, I'm feeding them pizza. It seems to be one of the best things that I can kind of give them for like cheap early game meals. And then I just store berries. Now for the other slots, you want to put something that's just non-perishable. Honey is another great one or cotton candy. Those are really easy ones to get on your farm. But then what you want to do is just fill up those last slots so they're not putting things in here. Then you have a bunch of berries. So if you run out of this first food, they're not going to starve, but they're also not going to gain any sanity. But we'll talk about that in the food section. So keeping everything really close together really helps. Now, if you can put your beds close to this as well, it's just going to make it a lot faster because they're not going to have to be traveling. Every time they have to take steps, it's just slower and slower food production. And the less food you can make in a short period of time, the easier it is for them to starve. And the more time you're kind of wasting just making food. Now, when it comes to food, food has sanity. That's what kind of keeps them happy. So you can't just keep them fed. That is not really enough to do the job. What I like to do is the better kitchens always are going to be able to make better things. We still have like a normal first starting cooking pot and there's a lot of good recipes that you can use in here just kind of starting off. When you look around, always start near the bottom. But if you get the lettuce, like I said at the beginning, you can get lamb balls. This one is really nice, increases their work speed. You don't have to have a nicer cooker than the original cooking pot. And then all you have to do is farm lettuce and lamb ball um, mutton. And that's not really a hard one to farm. And then you can also do uh, herb roasted lamb ball as well. Uh, this does defense and not work speed. I really recommend lamb ball because not only is it going to keep them fuller for longer, increase their sanity more. I believe this one is 23 sanity that they get, but it increases their work speed. So then they're also going to be creating food a little bit faster. All of these ones that only take one ingredient, I find that their sanity is not as uh, boosted and they don't give you like the work speed as well. So early game, I would say just focus on grilled lamb ball. So get that lettuce up as early as possible. If you're not quite there yet, you can easily grow wheat and you can do jam filled buns. These ones are not amazing. They do give, oh gosh, uh, they give a decent amount of sanity. I cannot remember off the top of my head right now. It's not as much as you're really going to want to have possible, but in early game, it's just wheat and berries. It's not that difficult to make. Um, so let's just compare it to pizza because pizza is my current favorite. It gives six sanity, which is not awful. Cooked berries only give one and then pizza is going to give you 23. So as soon as you can get to the next level of cooker, you can make pizza. Now I like to have 
um, all the stuff to make cakes for breeding. So, you know, having milk, flour, honey, eggs, all that kind of stuff. Um, so if you just grow tomatoes as well, you can make pizza. And now pizza is really cheap to make and it also gives you that increased work speed as well as it just keeps them fuller for longer. So I like to make that. It does take four ingredients, which is a little bit more than some, but it's easy. You can get all of that stuff in your base without having to leave. Now, if you are willing to farm some stuff up, I really make, I recommend the dud mud chowder. This one, I farm, I farm dud muds to get high quality palo oil. I just go out, I capture a whole bunch of them to get the high quality palo oil. Then I get the raw meat and then I just take those, sell those. Uh, at a vendor and then with that gold I just buy more high quality palo oil just to get a lot a little bit quicker but then I always end up coming back with this raw, raw dun mud and it is one of the best foods as you can see it's like way down it's a rare it does increased work speed and you stay fuller for a lot longer so it is one of the best ones to make and like I said you have to farm that high quality palo oil a lot for end game so that is one of the best things that you can do now the third tip is just general base design I have noticed Right now, everything is in good conditions, but every once in a while, there will be one or two pals that all of a sudden say they're starving, but where everything else is fine. Now, our inside of our base is, it's really fun. It's, we just like really try to build it up very aesthetically and had some good time with it. But we have a lot of these small one staircase, one ink staircases, <laughs> and they just tend to get stuck in different areas like this, as well as I had a tier, a uh, two tier farm before I, uh, made this new one and they were getting stuck in there all the time um, just randomly in these doorways after you pull them in from the pal box they get stuck so maybe not having a pal box in such a small confined area and more outside of it as well as just making sure you have very clear paths will just keep them happy because if they get stuck and you're just afk for a little bit they can get depressed and hurt and injured and no one wants to be making a ton of medicine medicine takes way too long to be able to even mess around with that so if you do those things, that will definitely help out as well as always just number four is check your check your pals. I know I have a lot of pals right now. So if you put them in your base, you can always hold F and they're going to have these passive skills. And I know a lot of these passive skills are really nice. They have the work speed plus 30. So that makes it really nice for this one, the work slave. But there are ones that are like unstable and different things that just make their sanity drop a whole lot or just make them not a great worker. I think all of mine I've checked here, so they should all just be pretty decent. But, um, you know, you just wanna be very careful about what pals you're putting in, because if you do put in, um, oh, what is it, is it drown uh, No, uh, I know there's like uh, the masochist one in particular. My wife was playing and she had an Anubis that was a masochist, so it was really good for fighting and stuff, but she was using it as her like base Anubis, and it was lower like 50% or 20% um, work speed, and you definitely don't want something like that, because that's just awful, so check those passive skills. They are just huge, and you wanna make sure you have nothing that lowers your sanity, because that's just gonna make that much harder. And then the final tip is, if you're gonna be logging off for the night, and you don't really need to farm up a whole bunch of resources, you have everything down, and it's just looking good, the best thing I always tend to do is I always have like my boxes set up in different ways. My first couple are just the random stuff I'm taming, but then I usually do my last lot of ones I use uh, in the base or the ones I like to pull out. And then I like my boss and my shinies. And then I usually just keep one tab where you can just pull them all out for the night. If they are in here, they're not gonna be losing food. They're gonna actually be gaining um, a little bit of their sanity and stuff like that. So they can just kind of chill out and be happy in here for a little bit. And then when you come out in the morning, just, you know, pull them all out. I tend not to do them too crazy fast because then again, sometimes they get glitched. And then when they get glitched, that's when they starve. And that's just not a good time for anybody. But yeah, with those five tips, you should really avoid having them get injured and depressed. And if one or two of them just do, then you're not making medicine for your, you know, your entire base, which could be up to 15 pals. And that's just a pain in the butt to make all of that. So I hope these tips help. Uh, if you guys are looking forward to more Pal World uh, content in the future, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will guys, see you guys in the next video. Peace.